I see that some people online have difficulties with the Niles uh, bottle stopper mandrel system <laughs> so I thought I'd explain my method. So I turn this on another machine I put a little concave so you get a nice snug fit between the wood and the bottle stopper and I drill it out on the other machine using the supplied drill bit I use soft for, for beach especially spotted beach now I bought this in the UK this is an M33 by 3.5 adapter so that goes into the back of the chuck and that goes into the tailstock now apologies I'm doing all the camera work here by myself so I'm trying to explain it as best I can so push the tail stock forward and just before it touches lock it in wind in the quill until it touches now I'm winding both sides so the two wheels one in the headstock one in the tail stock and I wind in until I get about a quarter of an inch here of a gap Pull out the chuck. Oh, I don't know if I can get out of any further. All right, so catch the body and start turning it by hand. Now just make sure that the, the plastic washer is uh, inside the mandrel and that's it. No need to tap it. Tapping wood is incredibly inaccurate I find. So here we are as good as, uh, as you can get. Now for support, this is a pen mandrel. And this is perfect for these. So what I do, very lightly, clean up the end. Now bring in the tail sock, wind the quill in. Put it tight, pull it back, and re-engage, and then lock it in. And that's it, that's perfect. Now what I find, this is a, a finished piece I did this morning. So when this comes off, when you're finished with it, put it back on and run it through the treads once more, and then you'll get a perfect fit. So put it in place, go anti-clockwise and you'll feel it kind of click. Now if you've done everything right, you'll have a perfect uh, seal there. That's it. This is a smaller version of the mandrel. This will also work in the chuck. But uh, the head here isn't as wide, so it's not uh, as strong inside here. Any questions, uh, pop them in the comments below.